Hello everybody, we are back at again with another video. We have the Anchor PowerPort Atom Power Delivery 4. This is what the back looks like. I don't know if there's anything important. Hopefully you read that. Uh, we do have a giveaway, so please stick to the end of the video to get the details of the giveaway. Ooh. Ooh. Always practice next training. Alright, here's what you get in the box. You get this up front. This is probably the power cord, I'm assuming. Uh, here's a break. Instructions, as always, happy, not happy. When are you gonna get rid of that crap? The baby tree died because of that paper, honestly. Here's uh, the power bank. How is it power bank? Power. Here's a power brick. It's a hefty boy. It's pretty thick. Uh, it's probably the same size as my old one. I knew I should have kept this too. The old black one with the power delivery USB Type C, and then it has four of them. It kind of resembles the same size as that. It's pretty heavy in the hand. Beauty. You got two power delivery ports right here. Um, I guess they pump out like a kajillion watts. I don't even know. Uh, they share a hundred watts between all four of these. So yeah, hopefully that's good. Okay, so moving along, back in the um, <laughs> box. Back to the box. Let's see what you get in the box. You get some stickers that I probably shouldn't say the brand of. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, we have a white power cord. This is going to be quite interesting to see. It's a 7 amp, 125 volts cord. You look like a snake! Why does every single anchor power brick you buy come with a 7 amp, 125 volt cord? Tells me for a loop. Am I missing something here? Because this is my third power brick with the same 7 amp cord. Even my 10 port has a 7 amp cord. I might be tripping. This says it's 100 watts. I don't know if they got some type of deal where they're amping it. Let's see here. A USB Type C output. 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts at 3 amps, 15 volts at 3 amps, 20 volts at 5 amps. Oh, none of it exceeds 7 amps. USB A output, 5 volts, 2.4. Total output, 120 watts. But nothing over 7 amps? Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe an electrician can tell me that maybe this is the most you can output. From a wall socket? I have no idea, but it's just odd. Like, why can't we have a bigger core than a 7 amp anchor? Can you please, if you're watching this, please let me know why we get 7 amps. Three generation in on power bricks. All right, so we have some uh, devices to charge up. So I'm pretty glad that uh, we have this. Pretty glad we have these. Okay, and you see smile. Nice to see you, smile. So we have this hefty boy. New power bank. USB Type-C delivery, it is completely dead. We have, oh my god, this. Cut, cut, I'm just kidding. Don't cut, don't cut. We have this hefty boy, who is at 0.1%. Just kidding. What else do we have here? Um, We have my iPhone, 
which is at 5%. And also too, we have this hefty boy, who's going to charge at 2.1 amps. I do have battery packs to my DJI Mini 2, but they're fully charged. So I won't be testing out. We're going to run a timer and we're going to see how long it takes to charge up each device and we'll get back to you. Oh yeah, so it's very important that I want to note I am going to be using, I believe, the Anchor Power Line 3 cores, the latest ones from Anchor. Uh, these support 60 watts fast charging. I have an Apple one, 6 foot one with the USB Type-C. I also got a USB Type-C to USB Type-C and a USB Type-U for being amazing. And uh, we're going to plug this up. Did we know that one? This was my go-to, but it's a 65 watt power brick from Anchor. It came with uh, the battery pack. I've been using it a lot. It's got Power IQ 3, so I guess it's extra fancy. Which is weird, because uh, I had Power IQ 1 when it first came out. Oh my god, so many batteries of Anchor. Okay. Alright, so an hour and 25 minutes, uh, we are at 97% on the iPhone. This is with optimized charging on. We are at 69% on the iPad. And we are... Halfway done with the battery pack and speaker is still charging. This is charging at two amps, so it's kind of slow charge. It's a 10,000 milliamp battery in there. Oh, yeah, also, too, this thing is staying uh, pretty cool actually. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the coolest. It does have a temperature. I want to say it's probably about a good 80. I'm not 100% sure. I am using my hand here. I'm trying to guesstimate. I want to say a little bit over 80 degrees. If I know my Tucson weather right. Very scientific, right? Anyways, it's not too hot. Okay, my camera's at... 15% so I am going to unplug this which was hooked up to the USB type A and I'm gonna plug up my battery I mean my battery stupid my camera plug up my camera all right it is two hours and 40 minutes give or take and my camera is at a hundred percent already this is at 88 And battery pack is fully charged. So that makes everything fully charged except for the iPad. Which is probably going to be done in probably like 20 minutes I'm guessing. But it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to bed. I'm ending this video. I sit up all night charging the stuff up. The speaker is fully charging. I mean the speaker is still charging. But if I'm correct, I should be almost charged. Come on, turn on, baby. There we go. Well, don't play that music, buddy. Yeah, well, it says right here that the speaker is fully charged. All right, that's it for this video. Please, uh, you guys, please consider subscribing before we do more videos like this. And also, uh, hit me up in the comment section below. That's where I stay at. And hit the alert button so you don't miss our giveaway video because once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. We love you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to bed. Peace out. Have a nice
in three hours and I got all that stuff charged plus my camera. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, one thing I did want to mention, this thing did get pretty hot. Uh, I don't know. I'm no expert, but somewhere around 100 degrees, I'm guessing, give or take. But that's what it felt like. All right, you guys, that's it. Love you.